What is going on guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to come on here and give a brief update in the Sebastian Rogers case. As most of you know, it's now been almost 10 weeks since 15-year-old Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers was last seen at his Hendersonville home. There's been a lot of drama going on in this case, guys. Let me point out that my thumbnail is Sebastian. Not a clickbait thumbnail, and my title is not a clickbait title, because what has happened in this case completely disgusts me, and Sebastian has been lost in the process. We're going to go over the facts that we know up to this point. Now, uh, the Sumner County authorities are still continu continuing to pursue every lead possible in Sebastian's case. The Goodlitzville Police Department found a pair of pants Wednesday night. Actually, those pants were found by a tragedy pimp named Terry Wynn, whose most recent claim to fame was recording a phone call with Chris Proudfoot and completely berating him and then editing the phone call to fit her narrative and posting it behind a paywall on her channel. So, yeah. But the pants were found. And they were thought that they could possibly be related to Sebastian's case, according to Chief Deputy Eric Craddock. Um, after examination, the pants found are believed to be unrelated to Sebastian's case, according to Craddock. They are still following up on every lead and tip that comes in. It's unclear where the pants were found or what time the discovery was made Wednesday. Well, if you go watch Terry Lynn's channel, you'll know exactly where and when. Uh, Sebastian was reported missing on the 26th of February when his mother went to wake him up for school and found his bedroom empty. Authorities swarmed the area. They have been searching for Sebastian everywhere. Hundreds of people from across Tennessee have participated in the searches. An Amber Alert was issued for Sebastian on the 27th of February. Posters and signs were placed throughout Sumner County and beyond. There's billboards up. They are put out there by Duchess Discussions, many of them. Um, you know, and we're going to keep those billboards up for as long as possible until we bring Sebastian home. Many of these posters and signs remain on display. In the weeks since Sebastian went missing, investigators also searched a Kentucky landfill where trash from Sebastian's neighborhood was taken in hopes of finding clues. Police have said very little publicly about the case, including what if any evidence has been found, and authorities have scaled back from an active search to an invest investigation. Let me clarify, this says an investigation, not a criminal investigation. The Sumner County Sheriff's Office has, in the past, said that tips are continuing to come in regularly in the case, and they're hopeful that Sebastian may still be alive. The autistic teenager's family has remained cooperative and communicative, despite his mother and stepfather's recent move to Memphis for work. Here's the deal, guys. Chris and Katie both have passed polygraphs. The only person in the equation that has not passed a polygraph, whose polygraph came back inconclusive, is Seth Rogers. The only person in this equation that is making money off of Sebastian's disappearance with a GoFundMe and a Cash App and a Venmo and making a grand tour of every Tragedy Pimps channel on YouTube is Seth Rogers. Now, I am not saying that Seth had anything to do with it because I don't think he did. I don't think any of these parents had anything to do with Sebastian's disappearance. I have said from the start of this that I feel like this was linked to the online gaming community because as much as everyone wants to say that Sebastian didn't have access to the internet, he was fixing to start online schooling. And Seth himself has said that he used to watch YouTube videos on his Switch well, Mr. Rogers, I'm not quite sure if you understand how YouTube works, but that does require an internet connection. So, in order for him to be watching YouTube videos, he had access to the internet. He was a gamer. He liked Minecraft. And 
what really bothers me is that the family says that all Sebastian really wanted more than anything was a friend. So you take a kid that feels isolated, that only wants a friend more than anything in life, and he's in that gaming community, the Minecraft community, which is filled with predators. It's just horrible, the number of predators that are in that community. And it would be very easily, it's not far-fetched, to think that one of these predators in the community reached out to Sebastian and lured him out of the house. We do know that Katie heard a thud that night. What if that thud was Sebastian leaving out his bedroom window? That's always been my thoughts on this. But the fact of the matter is, is that we've got people now calling in, pretending to be neighbors, calling in, pretending to be cousins. And what is that doing? We've got creators releasing chopped up phone calls where they're berating the stepfather of a missing 15-year-old boy. What is that doing to bring Sebastian home? When Sebastian finally does come home and he starts to look at the coverage of his disappearance, which he will do because he will have access to the internet, especially if he is doing online schooling, what's that going to do to him? That's going to further traumatize him if he was somehow lured away. If he left of his own free will, you know, it's still going to traumatize him. Now, there has been a picture released of a possible sighting in North Carolina. We don't know if that picture is legitimate or not. We do know that, you know, people have run it through scan tools to detect AI, and allegedly it's coming back more on the AI side than it is being a real photograph. But I also know that you can run photographs that you've taken through that same tool and have them come back the same way. I've looked at the photograph. I think there's a good chance that it could be Sebastian. But here's the reason why I think that. Because that photograph has been out for a hard minute. It's been out for three or four days now. And like the pants. The pants, as soon as they examined them, found out they weren't related, we got an update from law enforcement that they weren't related. The glasses, when the glasses were found. As soon as they were examined, we got an update by law enforcement that they weren't related to the case. But this picture, on the other hand, it's been out for a hard minute. We haven't heard anything from law enforcement. They're being just silent as can be. And if it was a nothing burger, I feel like they would have come out and said so. Now, that's just my opinion. It may be that it is AI. I don't know. I want it to be Sebastian, because if it is, that means he's still alive out there somewhere. What we need to do, guys, is we need to pray for this family. All three of the parents, Seth, Katie, Chris, we need to pray for all of them, because right now they're going through the hardest thing that they will ever have to deal with in their entire lives. And we need to keep this focus on Sebastian himself. That's why my thumbnail is what it is. That's why the flyer for Sebastian is up on your screen. To refresh everyone, because there's been so much that Sebastian has been completely lost in this, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers is a 15-year-old autistic young man standing at 5 foot 5 inches tall. Now, the weight on this flyer is wrong. He actually weighs closer to 113 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. He was last seen on the 26th of February, 2024, near Beach High School on Stanford on Stafford Court as his uh, on Stafford Court at his residence he was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt and black pants now it says black sweatpants on this but that's not the case they were more like a um, windsuit type of pants with the snaps going down the sides and they had a white stripe down the sides. They're the breakaway pants, like what was real popular in the 80s when I was a kid. Uh, now, Sebastian is autistic and he does like to hide underneath things. And from the start, the TBI has asked residents who live near the search area around Beach High School and along Long Hole of Pike to check their outbuildings, garages, and cars and under decks in case Sebastian had used any of those as hiding places. Again, if you have ring camera footage from the time that he went missing on the 26th, 
please forward that ring camera footage to law enforcement because that is one of the big things that everyone is trying to figure out is if he did leave of his own accord or if he was lured away why isn't there video footage of that i can tell you why if he left at night when it's super dark those ring cameras aren't going to be able to really capture a whole lot they're not high quality 4K, 8K cameras out there, guys. We're talking about ring cameras. They're, they're not movie studio cameras. They don't really pick up a lot, especially in the dark, in my opinion. Uh, you know, which is why, you know, some of the times, even with the ATM cameras, when we go to pull the footage, it's grainy as hell and stuff if it's night footage. Again, not the best quality cameras, and you would think it would be, especially on an ATM, but that's neither here nor there. Anyone that has information on Sebastian or his whereabouts is asked to contact the Summer County Sheriff's Office at 615-451-3838 or the TBI at 800-TBI-FINE. Guys, write those numbers down. That is where you report your information if you have a tip to the TBI, to the Sumner County Sheriff's Office, not to your favorite YouTuber, not to your favorite tragedy pimp, not in the comment section of a video, report it straight to the TBI. If you see Sebastian, make sure you do take a picture, but send that straight across to the TBI. Don't post it to Facebook. Don't create a lot of drama in this case where there's already so much drama going on. If you are out there searching for Sebastian, don't live stream the search. What if that pair of pants that they found had been Sebastian's remains? Is that really how we want the world to find out that he's no longer with us? Is from a tragedy pimp live streaming her search? Because here is my opinion. If you're searching and you're doing it to find Sebastian, you wouldn't be live streaming it for clicks, views, and a profit off of. If you're here for the right reasons and you're here to search, then search. Put your camera away. You don't need to live stream that. But that is where we're at so far in the case of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. I do want everyone to please keep all three parents in your prayers. Keep this young man in your prayers. And guys, be careful who you're following on social media. Be careful who you're watching. There is so much misinformation being put out in this case right now. I could name several creators, but I'm not. Just please think about the case logically. If something doesn't sound right, I know that y'all, a lot of you, including some of my subs, come here for the drama. Come here because YouTube is entertainment for you. But this is not a movie of the week, guys. This is a missing 15-year-old autistic young man who has been missing since the 26th of February. And we are now at the 4th of May. And we're still no closer to answers, or at least that we are aware of. I do want to point out that law enforcement may be sitting on a lot of information right now that we really don't know about. We do know, per Seth's own words, that the electronic devices had not been given back to the family. That tells me there's a reason why those haven't been given back. If there was nothing on them, there'd be no reason to hang on to them. So, again, same with the photograph. If it was a nothing burger, we probably would have heard something by now. But that's just my opinion, guys. I am not law enforcement. I'm not a private investigator. I'm just here to try to keep awareness for Sebastian so that we can find him and bring him home to his family. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers home safe.